Hey everybody, this is Chad. It's good to see you again. It's been a while since I've made a video. I've been really busy, but I thought I'd take a few minutes to narrate one that I shot a while ago. In this video, we go underneath my tank because we're going to take a look at something, one of those little things that I just think is kind of cool when it happens. And in this case, let me get under here and turn up on my back. Not comfortable. But what we're looking at is this little hole right here where you can see through the glass and that's the burrow for my tiger pistol shrimp I've had this shrimp for about eight years now I guess maybe seven and there he is and of course you can't see anything more than that little window but it's just for me it's kinda neat to be able to see a creature uh, in a place where it feels hidden and it just sits there and it's safe and uh, kind of does its thing and it's just not something you often get to see so I thought I'd share that with you guys pistol shrimp are a great addition to a tank but not a perfect addition and I've, I have talked about them before but I'll take an opportunity to kind of talk about them again obviously there's some fascinating aspects to them the fact that they burrow into the sand that they have a symbiotic relationship with a fish is a very fascinating thing and there's body language behavior between uh, the fish and the shrimp so that the sh shrimp which is almost blind understands when there's danger because of a tail flick or uh, some movement from the fish and then the shrimp knows to, to hide the shrimp as it digs will uncover food particles and s small animals which the uh, fish will then get a part of the meal uh, for that. So I just thought I'd share that. Let's go back to an even older video and talk about what it looks like on the surface. Uh, that's the same uh, pistol shrimp, but that is a different host than it has now. That is a yellow watchman goby. The, fi the shrimp is currently hosted with a black fin shrimp goby and they will host with several gobies uh, species they will they will obviously uh, host with another fish in this case the uh, this particular fish passed away and so I got another one to replace it and it has hosted with the uh, the one that it's with now what you're seeing here is the opening to the burrow and in this particular tank this was my older 50 gallon tank the rockwork was designed so that there could really be just one area of the tank and you can't see it but where it, where it goes up there's rocks buried and t pushed together so that the shrimp really can't very well burrow through them so in this particular tank they really stayed put but you can see in this video the mounds of sand and that's what you can expect from this pairing so if that's something that is unattractive to you then I don't recommend these animals. Also, if you keep corals on the sand, they can get buried. So that is something to watch out for. I have lost corals because of, of this pairing. With that said, I do love them. And so anyway, just thought I'd share this with you really quick. Uh, pistol shrimp, watch Mugobi, and in the burrow. Thanks a lot. I'll see you guys next time.